I know I said I was going to do a meal planning video the next time that I put up my grocery haul, um, but this was a sort of impromptu grocery trip. Um, we were around an Aldi, and you know my favorite grocery store is Aldi, so I needed some bulk items, so I had to go ahead and get them. So the next time I put up a grocery haul, it will definitely be a meal planning and a grocery haul video. So I got all, all this stuff here and some stuff over here. So let's just get to it. Some French vanilla creamer. This is 32 ounces and this was 219. So the unsalted butter was 245 for 16 ounces. So that's a pound. Um, the next thing I got was this heat and serve. I don't remember if I got the maple flavored last time, but there are 10 links in here and they were like a dollar and they're a dollar and nine cent. Um, I really like these. Next item was 2% milk. If you've been watching for a while, you know we, you know we normally drink 1%, but um, the dates on the 1% weren't as good as the 2%. And their milk was, I think it was 2, 2.45, I think. And we got a carton of eggs. Their eggs did go up. This is just the 12 large eggs and they were $1.09. The last of the cold items, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the freezer. It's one of the 16-inch take-and-bake pizzas by Mama Cozy's. This is a sausage and pepperoni pizza. It has Italian sausage and pepperoni with four different cheeses. So we're going to see how that is. And for canned goods, we got some of the whole kernel sweet corn. We love corn. We got six of those, and they were $0.49 cent each. We also got two cans of the light red kidney beans, and they were $0.59 cent each. Last of the beans for this. I think we got some more in another bag. Um, we got two cans of the black beans, and these were also $0.59 cent each. And we got some of the fit and active petite diced tomatoes. These were also $0.59 cent each. Okay, some more cans. We got two cans of the... Oh, here we go. The mild chili beans. These were also 59 cent, I think. I got a can of cream of mushroom and a can of cream of chicken. These were 79 cent, and these are the 10 and a half ounce cans. Last can I got was the sloppy joe sauce. If you've watched before, you know I use this to make my um, meat sauce for my spaghetti. We really liked this last time, so we got this brand again. Well, also picked up the pasta sauce flavored with meat. I've had this, um, I've bought two jars of this before. This is only 99 cent for 24 ounces. Now a non-food item. Um, these are a lot like my Pyrex bowls that I got, but of course there's gonna be a lot difference in price. I just hope that the lids are as good quality. But these are um, an eight piece set of glass bowls with lids. So that's four bowls and four lids, and they're all different colors which I like. So um, there's a one cup, two cup, four cup, and a seven cup. And this was $9.99 for all of these. And last item in this bag were peaches. I think these were two pounds of peaches and they were $2.79. This is, we're trying to try out different fruit in the summer. So this is different for us. So there's those. We also picked up two cases of water. Um, one is still outside. It is raining outside. So um, we left that one in the trunk, but this is a 24 pack of 16.9 um, fluid ounces, and these are $1.99. Some snack items, we got the Simply Na Nature, um, the sweet potato chips, and the sweet potato chips were $1.99. I really like these. They have sea salt on them. Um, we got some veggie straws, which my mom um, suggested to get the Clancy ones. She likes these, and these veggie straws were $1.89. Next snack item are the Clancy's Pretzel Slims and these Pretzel Slims I think are $1.89 but I'm trying to make sure Pretzel Slims $1.99 we got um, I like to keep this in stock so I got two of the ranch packets I use this in taco soup um, what else I done um, some chicken before in the crock pot with this with um, some cream of chicken, it was really, really good. And these were really, really affordable there. They were 49 cents, so I got both of these for 98 cents. I got some mini semi-sweet um, 
chocolate morsels and if you've watched some previous videos before then you know we use these in our pancakes when we want a little bit extra chocolatey something and these were $1.79 for 12 ounces. Last in this bag are some strawberries and these are a pound. You know we like strawberries. These look pretty decent. Um, I had to look through them just to find some but this is a pound and they were $1.99 for these. Got some cereal and their cereal is really it's a really good price these were a dollar 29 and they're like cinnamon toast crunch i really don't know any difference this is the second time i've bought these really like these cody wanted the frosted flakes these are a little bit bigger of a box what happened you can tell it was a it was a hard trip home guys um this is the pound and an ounce this was 12 ounces so you can see in size comparison and the frosted flakes were a dollar 29 so there really isn't a difference in price. $1.29. Yeah, they're the same price for these two different sizes. Got a loaf of the Love and Fresh Split Top Wheat Bread. And the wheat bread was $0.99. Cent. Um, I needed some white rice. This is three pounds of rice. And... This rice was $1.49 for, like I said, three pounds. Extra fancy. That's the kind of rice you want, people. The extra fancy kind. So fries and flour, I use this in my pancakes. Never use all-purpose flour in your pancakes. You have to add a lot more ingredients in it. And this self fries and flour was $1.45 for five pounds. We got some of the Baker's Corner sugar. This is the four-pound pack. And this sugar was... $1.69 for four pounds. Okay guys, we picked up 41 different items and our total was only $63.49. Um, you don't see all the refrigerated items right here just because I had to go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. But um, as you can see right there, $63.49. And I don't include the bowls in my total for my groceries because it's not considered a grocery item. But um, those bowls were $10. So if you subtract $10 from the 63, I still met my weekly goal of 50, just $3 over. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and have a beautiful, blessed day.